on this TV diagram, uh, the right hand uh, dark curve shows the environmental lapse rate. The left hand uh, dark curve shows the dew point lapse rate. And the green blue curve shows the air parcels lapse rate. First, the air is saturated, so it's dry adiabatic lapse rate. Once the air is saturated, it becomes wet adiabatic lapse rate. We, in the lect lecture one, stability lecture one, we define a uh, lifting condensation level, level of free convection, and uh, equilibrium level. <coughs> From the ground surface, Let's make it bigger. From the ground surface to level of free convection, this area we call negative area. It's called negative cap. Cap means uh, convective available potential energy. Here we have a negative available potential energy, or we call um, B minus, that means uh, negative uh, points, or called uh, convective inhibition. Um, <clears throat> here, within this area, the air parcel temperature is always colder than the environmental air. Air parcel temperature here, minus uh, about minus nine degree by environmental temperature is about 12 degree or 13 degree. So air parcel's temperature always colder, so air parcel tends to sink. We call negative uh, potential energy. The air parcel would not rise without the lifting force. Lifting force including the front, uh, low pressure system, or mountain make air rise, or the solar heating. From level of free convection all the way to the equilibrium level or level of neutral points, this area we call positive uh, cap or we call B plus uh, positive points or points. This area is, uh, this uh, energy is expressed in unit of joules per kilogram. Uh, this is a positive cap area. The air is very unstable because air parcels temperature is always warmer than the environmental air at a given height. So air parcel has a point, point force. It can automatically rise without the lifting force. And from the equilibrium level up, air parcels temperature is colder than the environmental air. So this is a negative uh, cap area. So we are negative cap area between the environmental lapse rate and the air parcel lapse rate. Okay. And this area, this level, from the equilibrium level upper, this area we call the negative points. It is stable because air parcel tends to sink back, uh, what we call the convective inhibition. And this area, we have a positive cap or positive points. This is unstable here because air parcel has a points force. It can rise without a lifting force. And from the ground surface, to the level of free convection, this is a negative area. That means it is stable, negative points. Okay. Uh, another term we want to deal with is called convective condensation level. This is different from the lifting condensation level. Convective condensation level is caused purely only by the solar heating, not by other force. 
solar heating warms up the surface air and then rise and reach the condensation level. How to determine the convective condensation level? We go from the existing uh, mixing ratio at, at the dew point, there is a 15 gram per kilogram existing mixing ratio line. The line intersect the air pass uh, environmental lab three at this level. This we call convective condensation level. What happens when the ground surface air temperature is warm up in the afternoon to about originally 24 degrees? If it's warm up to 35 degrees, between 30 and 40. So 35 degrees is very close to the dry adiabatic collapse rate when the air parcel rise. In the afternoon, near the ground surface, because of mixing up the air, uh, the lapse rate tends to become uh, dry adiabatic collapse rate, like a green diagonal line here. Uh, so when the air parcel reach 35 or a little bit higher, it rise, says following the dry adiabatic collapse rate until it had intersect the 15 gram per kilogram <clears throat> water vapor, that's convective condensation level. Because when the air is warm up from 24 to 35 degree, relative humidity decrease. So the air has to rise to a higher level in order to reach the condensation. So convective condensation level is always higher than the uh, lifting condensation level. Here we show the wind direction change from northeast to north-northeast uh, vertically. So we call this the clockwise change in wind direction. We call wind varying. And from this level to this level, the wind change from the north northeast wind to north northwest wind. There's a counterclockwise change in wind direction. We call wind backing. <coughs> wind speed also increase from five knots to twenty five knots to ten knots and then twenty five knots. This vertical wind direction, wind speed difference, we call vertical wind shear. This vertical wind shear tends to move, make the air within this level rotate and produce the so-called helicity. Helicity is the amount of the rotational force caused by wind, vertical wind shear in the lower atmosphere, somewhere from ground surface to about three kilometer high. This uh, helicity could make the air rotate and eventually develop into mesocyclone, which will be the uh, index of the tornado. We have uh, explained the uh, different term now we need to explain another uh, terminology. We talked about lift index before. Uh, lift index, our thermal diagram, V diagram shows minus five, so it's between minus two and minus six. It's very unstable. Thunderstorms likely, some severe, with lifting mechanism. We just mentioned cap. Cap, uh, if it's a positive, then uh, there is a possibility of updraft or severe storm. Uh, 2500 is very extreme high. Uh, water index is the same, almost the same as K, K index. It's the temperature difference air parcels, air temperature, minus air parcels temperature at the 500 millibar level. But the air parcel is 
lift from 850 millibar rather than from the ground surface, which we derived the uh, lift index. Helicity we just mentioned, uh, it's uh, usually from the surface up to three kilometer. Uh, it can develop a mesocyclone, rot rotating cyclone. So if it's a 500, 150 is a possible supercell, 300 to 400 supercell favorable, 400 tornado favorable. Uh, those index can be either calculated by equation or by the uh, CTV diagram to show the uh, ver vertical uh, stability, atmospheric stability. Here is a website which tell more detail about the uh, uh, cap. Let's see if we can get it or not. Okay, it has a cap and it shows the uh, stability. This is the University of Illinois. They have online lecture material. Uh, when I talk about air parcel, uh, air parcel actually is a given volume of the air of any size and any uh, uh, shape. It's not like the one I point out just like a circle. It's not the truth. Okay, uh, thank you very much.